Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. Now, a few episodes ago I did an introduction to concepts and I wanted to follow up that episode with a question of what is requires requires. Now you'll see this come up from time to time when you see stuff talking about concepts and so I'll illustrate it here. Let's say that I want to write a function that can take any type of function object. So I have this code that can take any function object. That's what the name says at the moment anyhow. And I can call it with a lambda. Like that. And I'm passing in a lambda that takes no parameters and returns void and it's not a problem. I can call this and execute it here. Now, if I also take another function, that's actually just for declare this thing. This code is still going to compile. Funk is a function pointer. It is a callable thing, but it is not a function object. By function object, I mean something that has an actual call operator overloaded for it. So I'm going to go ahead and use some concepts here to say that this requires something. And with concepts, you can do these um, constraint requirements that specify a valid expression. So if I wanted to say function object operator paren, like this. Now this is saying I want to see that it is valid to get a pointer to this member. And so I am restricting this to um, types that have a call operator on them. But I get this error expected expression. So you can't do this. In requires here I can put a concept, but I cannot define a new concept. So I end up writing code that looks like this, requires, requires. And now I get a proper compile error when I pass in a function pointer and the thing that is taking an actual function object succeeds like I want it to. So that's what requires, requires is. It's like putting an ad hoc concept in your requires statement. So this was mentioned by Bjarne Strustrup in a CBPCon keynote a couple of years ago as being a code smell. Because what it means is that you are lacking a properly defined concept. So let's go ahead and define a proper concept for this thing. So here I have defined a new concept called has call operator and it requires that this be a valid expression. So now I can do something like this instead. So if you see requires requires in your code, it is probably a code smell, meaning that you have some other missing concept or type trait or something else that could be well defined to make the code more readable. So um, that's all I have to say about requires requires at the moment in my second part here on talking about C++20's concepts. I hope you enjoyed this episode of C++ Weekly.